MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel. And this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. Unbelievable. I couldn't even believe that there was two eights in there. This guy right here is doing something special. Uh, I welcome y'all to MBE. What you about to see? Box building in a different league. In this SQL scene, believe that money ain't a thing when it comes to his kings. Now that's fact, not fiction. Call 404 694 48 to 18. Okay. Don't matter, you got 48 or 18 or anything between. He got what you need. This is my crew. This is my gang gang. These are my kings. So, I'm playing with this meter and I'm wondering. First of all, I don't like to chase numbers. I don't, I don't chase that. But after putting my 225 OEs back in there and seeing just an increase in the power, you know, I, I increased the knives with 30, 3,600 watts. I'm still not able to gain that one that wanted to be lower. But I also knows this thing just, even with more power, it's still saying 140. Uh, Fred Porter said something to me, and I... Maybe maybe that's what's going on. I have to see. But he said, he said, man, something wrong with your meter. That's why he said that, Fred. He said, bro, you ain't in the chasing numbers. And but I am. Uh and I sat inside your vehicle. I mean, he probably gonna comment on this video and say, yeah, I sat in there. And he told me, he said, man, something wrong with your meter. Because what I was feeling inside your vehicle. It's greater than what I felt in some other said vehicle. And they was doing a 143, 144. And he said, I can tell you, you're a lot lower. He said this. He said, you're a lot lower. He said, in fact, he went back home. And on the strength of him and what he does, you know, obviously he's seriously into it. I mean, he bought some, the, the tens he bought, like $800 a piece with all the options he put on it. The XL, the uh, the DC Audio XL tens, and he put some some options of great performance. I think they made, they made about seven, maybe seven hundred, seven hundred a piece, seven some. And uh, plus the amp. I mean, he's really into high performance stuff. He got a AK. He bought just bought a Dizzle Designs M five K. You know, he got that LTO battery inside his truck. Uh, uh, titanium, lithium, the one that you can put on in the hood, the Titan 8. He got that, multiple runs of power on ground. And he was telling me, he said, man, I, I, it's afterwards, after the video. He said, man, something wrong with your meter. He even measured me back. He told me, he said, man, if you pull up on shows, a lot of people going to have their feelings, going to have their feelings hurt. I said, why would they have their feelings hurt? And I'm only doing a 140 with, with two eights. He said, bro, you're doing way more than 140. I'm telling you right now, something wrong with your meter. Cause I said he said I said on the passenger side, but I mean I don't see nothing to adjust, nothing to calibrate. Y'all, I'm gonna read these comments on this video. What some of y'all experience is with this SSA APX meter? Cause I'm just going on the strength of what one of my customers said and built a box. Who went back home and let people listen to the two ten box that I did, and they said some other things that I'm not gonna say right here. They can say it in the comments all they want to. But it says mud things based off what he said and also hearing his two tens on inside this truck, the box I built for him. And they said after hearing the two tens, he said, man, if, if he, if you telling me it was, he said, bro, he was like that. He was like that. It makes me believe now, is there something wrong? Will y'all tell me y'all had it? What's your experience with this? Because I know I remember when it first came out, you see a lot of these things popping up with me to test. And now I look around, I don't see nobody really showing this. Is it is it off? Is that did they stop something because there is something incorrect? But did I miss something? I don't know. I don't know. But just going off on the on the strength of this dude who is a competitor, he's this is what he do. He's I'm gonna try you out. Hear the naysayers say and this, that, and other. Forget all that. I'm going to try you out. But I, all these people saying when they hear. And then he I asked him, well, you want to do it when they hear? Yeah, I definitely want to do it when they hear video because that was incredible. That I can see why they say it sounded like 15. 
He said, just your meter. He kept telling me, he said, your meter off. He takes back the same day. He said, bro, something wrong with your meter. That's something wrong. Either something wrong with your meter or something wrong with the meters here. Because sitting inside your vehicle, what I heard is far louder than what I done heard. People have more, more subs and sometimes more power. So y'all comment, chime in here what y'all think. I don't know. I'm on, I've been just you know trying to quantify whatever I say I'm doing with this. And if it is missing DBs for me, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good thing. That means I'm actually loud and I think I am. And everything that I'm trying and basing off this, if it's erroneous, uh, good. Because that means that it, that's why I'm having the sis I have. Because I'm cheating myself. <laughs> I'm thinking that the output, because the, I only sell what works. So I y'all know something. I'm on the boxes that I send out. I don't send y'all. I never sell a box to a guy while I'm trying something out. I'm going to try it out on myself. I'm going to try it on myself and see what I can do here. If it succeeds here, then I'm going to take it elsewhere. But what I sell, slot port boxes and the volume with four-inch areas that I know work, okay? So I only sell what works. I don't never sell no experience. That's why I only sell ported boxes. I don't do no trying and doing all that. I only sell what works. So now let me know what y'all think about this, uh, you know, this. What's y'all thoughts and experience is with it? Am I, is it not reporting my true DB score? Because this is the last, this is the third, this is the third guy who's an actual competitor who came, has told me. He said, bro, that's way louder than 140. I said, well, that's what the meter say. He said, said bro, that's way louder than 140. I don't know what's going on with your meter, but when Fred said it, I'm taking it to heart. <laughs> Cause I, I just do all the stuff he talking about. He had and sent me pictures of and this, that, and another. And he, he's like, man, this something wrong. Cause he basically he comment on here. I'm gonna share the link to this video up and hear what other other people say. He's he told me specifically. He said, bro, if you pull up to shows, if you pull up in any show, let me know so I can bring tissue paper and clinics. I mean, the uh, clinic and popcorn. I said, I know the popcorn for. That's what he said. I'm going to watch the show. But the toilet paper, he, the, tissue, the clinics, he says, I'm going to start handing the people. They're going to be they gonna be like, man, yo, they're going to be crying because they realize this shit ain't loud. You just got your ass handed to you by two weeks. Like, you serious, Fred? He said, I'm dead, sir. I'm dead ass. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But in the meantime, I might give me another meter, that SPL lab meter. And I'm still banging up everything off this boy right here. I don't know. I don't know. What I do know, I could take two eights and do a 142 with this boy right here. For real. With them 225 weights. I do know that. On music. With this boy right here. That's what it's saying. So if it's off by a couple of DB, maybe I am louder. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Peace.